Okay. Good morning. You know, I was thinking, I always say good morning. But maybe it's not morning. Well, it's morning-ish. It's morning-ish. Hello again. How about, how about that? We'll go with that. Hello again. All right. So, another red lipstick challenge. Um, this one today, I'm going to wear Bite Beauty. Bite Beauty. That's perfect. Okay. Um, it is a matte cream lip crayon. Crayon. Not a liquid today. The color is red velvet. 90% natural. What's the other 10%? Do I want to know? Maybe I don't want to know. 90% natural. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's got pretty color. So I'm not as for, I'm not as I'm used to putting on liquids. I'm not as good with crayons or actual lipsticks or apparently I'm not so good with the Fenty applicator. Man, that one took forever. All right, so there we go. It's a crayon. I don't think I'm going to get a very sharp tip with this one. I'm going to get a napkin already. I know this is going to this is going to make a mess. I can tell. I'm sure I'm sure you guys are way more talented than I am at putting this on. So here we go. Okay. Full disclosure, <laughs> I am not a makeup expert, in case you couldn't tell. Oh yeah, no. No, no. Huh. I usually do the bottom lip first. I'm doing it backwards today. <laughs> It's like, gra can you see that? That's so annoying. It's like grabbing my lip and pulling it. I did put on um, a lip primer first. I have been told that lip primers are like the double stick tape of lipstick. It's supposed to make it stick and stay, so. Wanting to give it its best shot. I do not like applying this. This is awful. Uh, awful. No, thank you. It smells. You know, this one smells like orange creamsicle. That is not what I expected out of a lipstick. Oh, I do not like this one. You, uh, I want a sharp application. I'm not gonna get a good line with this one, I can tell. Oh, what a bummer. All right, so <laughs> in my full disclosure of my makeup world, um, I've really only been wearing makeup for, let's see, this is October, 10 months. Mm -hmm. Before that, yes, I'd worn makeup, but I didn't hear. Huh. Let me just give you something to laugh at while I talk for a second. <laughs> Should I just leave it like this? Everybody would notice, right? Right? be great. Um, I'd occasionally wear makeup, but I really wouldn't very often. I didn't have um, the self-confidence to wear it. Like, I didn't want people to look at me. I didn't want people to notice me or see me at all. Because I didn't like the way I looked. And so, when I'd wear makeup, I'd feel better, but then... People would say, oh, wow, you look really good today. And I'd be like, thanks. That means that I don't look good other times. I don't know. 
I had a hard time with it. So, and I know people just meant well. It wasn't like... intending to be insulting. But when they would see me with the makeup, it was always like, you're wearing makeup today. So... At the end of this is already feathering. Ooh. Do you have this one? Do you have to sharpen it like every time you use it? Because this... This does not give a good line. You can't get a sharp line with that. Lamo. Anyway, it was my New Year's resolution for 2019. Um, to do my hair and makeup at least four times a week. I had some other goals too. Not just that one. I am proud to say I have kept them. Well, some of them are, like, in progress. They're not a... Anyway. That's the first year I've actually... Oh, man, there it is on my chin. Transfer already. Can you see it? It's, like, right there. Oh, gross. Already starting. Already have it on my face. Of course. And it's already feathering. I'm going to try and straighten it out. Anyway, I've really only been doing my hair and makeup. Well, my makeup since January. So, not an expert. I'm just learning. Bear with me if there are things that look weird or wrong or there's better ways to do stuff because I don't know. I'd never... Okay. You want to know how newbie I am. Upon hearing my goal, my my 2019 New Year's resolution goal about wanting to do my hair and makeup, and my sister says, Oh, Holly, have you ever been in Ulta? Like, Ulta? What is Ulta? I didn't know. Well, man. <laughs> I didn't know. Thank you for introducing me to the <laughs> Ulta store. Yeah. So Ulta, if you have not been introduced, is um, this giant... It's like the... I don't know. To me, I would relate it to like the Costco of makeup. It's got everything. Well, most things. There are some things um, that they don't have. But, um, yeah. But walking into the store and it's like, I want a red lipstick and I want one that lasts. And they're like, okay, well, there's reds over there and there's reds over there and there's reds over there. And here's some good brands. And so I went online to try and find, you know, can I find someone who's compared and found this good kiss proof and long lasting lipstick that's not review of the actual company? Because, of course, every company is going to say theirs is best, right? couldn't find the good reviews that I wanted so I'm like fine I'll just try them all this is already making a mess in my mouth guys uh all right well feathered to start with the color's kind of pretty it's a little whinier than I like a true red but goes with my sweater, so it's okay. Okay. So, initial review. I'm going to say I am already not a fan because it's kind of sticky. Ma <laughs> it's feathered around the edges. It does not give a crisp line. Unless, I don't know, if you had to sharpen it every day. How, how does this even go out? Does it, like, roll up? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Now it's going up. 
Um, I don't know how you'd sharpen that though. That seems like a lot of waste too. If if you had to sharpen it to a point, it'd be like wasting product every day. Why isn't it going back down? Oh dear. Well, um, <laughs> that's fun. Can't get that. Okay. All right. So anyway, um, I don't like that. I don't like the way that it grabs my lips on the, um, as I'm applying it, like grab and pull my lip and it definitely feels sticky. I don't think this one's going to last very well. And this one's going to be a mess. Oh man. And I have a meeting tonight. Uh, all right. We'll see how it goes. See you later. Bye. This. This right here is the problem. How long has that been there? And it's all over my fingers. I had lunch. It's all over my fingers. It's all over my face. This is my problem. Aside from it not feeling great on my lips. Mwah. Ew. Check out that. This is my coffee cup. Look at that amount of transfer. That's crazy. Wow. All over my napkin. All over my cup. Not much left on my lips. Lame. Bite Beauty Crayon is definitely out. Out. This is going to be a mess. It hasn't even been that long. Mess. Going to have to reapply. Shoot. <coughs> Maybe after coffee. All right. So, end of the work day. And, well, you can see it's, yeah. Oh, man. It did not stay. This is like end of the night kind of lipstick. This is not midday lipstick uh yeah did not stay was was all over the place all over my coffee cup um made a complete mess i do have a meeting tonight so i am gonna have to reapply this because i can't go in like this it's no nah. and i'm worried that during my meeting while i'm presenting that i'm gonna end up with it like all over my face it's the first night of 4-h 4-h is gonna start up again tonight and so I'm meeting a bunch of new prospective members and their parents and families and, you know, I'd like to make a good impression, not a lipstick all over my face impression. <sighs> anyway, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Another news? I have not heard from Mr. 55 today. Boys are so confusing. I don't understand them. All right, I'm gonna reapply. Oh, do you wanna see me reapply? We can do that, I'll reapply. I'll put it on fast forward so you guys can like get super fast of me reapplying. Ooh, it's been in my pocket. It's kinda, kinda melty. I don't know how this is gonna go. Difference between warm and cold, maybe. Maybe that's a good thing. Still smells like a creamsicle and it still pulls my lip. Alright, I still hate the application. 
It still feels gross on my lips. It's still feathery. It's got like these weird, ooh, crumpy bits. I don't know what those are. I may go home and take it off and put something else on before my meeting. I don't know. We'll let you know. This one, not for me. All right, see you later. All right, end of the night. Had my forage meeting. Awesome. Yay for exciting New Year's. New new members and new dogs. And it's going to be awesome. But this lipstick, not so much. I was worried the whole meeting that I had it on my chin as I was meeting these new people. Thankfully, I don't think I did. But oddly, I can feel it gathering like on the inner lip. Um, so hopefully it didn't get on my teeth. But here, you can see like see how it's gathering there on the inside this heart right there that part right there yeah <sighs> gonna pass this was what the third application of the day third or fourth I don't even know not long lasting mm -mm. sorry all right so thumbs down on this one I will talk to you tomorrow. We'll see what one I want to wear tomorrow. Don't know. Bye.